I remade better versions of every mob in Minecraft. Zombies are traditionally kind of boring, so let's make it way better. Starting by giving it all these rips on its clothing. And to make it really cool, I'm gonna have acid flowing through its body. I'll also have his ribs showing through the body just like this. It might be a zombie, but the skeleton is awesome. Let's grab this neon green and use it on the eyes. Then I'm gonna remove his arm here and replace it with some corroded bone. When I think of zombies, I think of infections. So I'm I'm gonna give it this giant mass on its shoulder. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Now that is a better zombie. Ugh. He's so infested with some nasty fungus. As you get close to him, you actually start getting nauseous. Let's make this infection grow even more wild. And I gotta be careful not to get too close for too long. I'm getting so very nauseous, but I have yet to see a nauseous cow. So far, it looks like they've come to a mutual agreement and found Peace. Maybe I introduce a less peaceful option. Oh no, this is not good. They're spreading their infection all over. Is the infection really that bad? Oh golly, back up, yikes. My goodness, thank you so much. Here, have a beautiful dandelion. Oh, get nauseous. This might be a hot take, but iron golems are pretty dull. So we're gonna bring some real life to it. Start by making him way bigger, even bigger. After giving him these big shoulders, I'll need to move his arms out like this too. Give some more shape to his legs. Let's Let's go for a cybernetic powered golem with some blue eyes. And on top of that, let's give him his power core. And as a little detail to make it super realistic, let's add this cube to the core. To make it more metallic too, I added some detail on his fists. And finally, even though it's more metallic, I also added onto the mossy exterior of the golem. And this golem is truly ready to protect a village. I'm gonna name you Beefcake. As you can see, I've come prepared. Probably start with sneaking up behind him with a jump and a slam. Bam, blam, bam. This is way too much power. Even more damage. More da and we got him. <gasps> my goodness, we got the golem core. I went through the trouble of obtaining my golem core. I should be able to use it as I please. Boom. Destruction through the entire village. Look at all of that XP. I'm becoming stronger by the second. Another golem. Bam, bam. Oh, jeez. He's turning on me. He's turning on me. Yeah. I'm going to make this ocelot perfect. Yep, that was bad. My main problem with the ocelot is that it has absolutely no detail. So I painted it all yellow. Done. Obviously, totally kidding, but I did already like the shape of the ocelot, so I'll be making a few adjustments to the body. But the real work is going to be making its fur look much, much, much better. And adding these spots are definitely going to help. Then I put this pattern on its tail and legs too. And with a few more details, I feel pretty good about what the ocelot has turned into. And we got our cute cute ocelot. I made, oh my goodness. Did you see that? He's chasing the chicken. Oh, the chicken went down. I've given our scared ocelot some buddies here and they're off. They're going to be hard to keep track of. There's only three here too. Oh no. I've lost one of our ocelots somewhere. He must've gone. There he is. Whew. Thank goodness. He's not going after the villagers. I might've spoke way too soon. He's going after the villagers. There goes the villager. Oh, that's the kid that survived the golem. There goes another villager. Oh, I've got a genius idea. Grab myself a little bit of cod. This fishy smell. Yes. Now, he's interested. We just gotta go find your buddies. There, we got another one there. And wrangled. Now, I've lost another ocelot. I see a trail of meat going down into the fire here, though. Yikes. Have you ever thought that the creeper just isn't quite creepy enough? Well, I have. So let's make it creepy. Its legs are pretty lame, so I'm gonna build them out and have a lot more definition. Then I gave the creeper this weird arched back shape like it's crawling over. Now, after the general shape, start by giving it this dark green color. And I really didn't think there was enough despair in the original creeper face, so I made this one instead. I did want to keep the original pixelated texture of the creeper, so I used that while coloring it. And man, those eyes those are terrifying. Look at them stare into your soul. Add on to that scary sight. I'll add these spines. Now that is the best creeper we've ever seen. That guy looks so creepy. Look at the spikes on the hunch. Really crunched over. Ugh. He looks like he's dripping too. I feel like I need a vial to collect pieces of you. We do, however, need to find out if I could survive an explosion. All right, take it easy. Come on, it's all right. I brought cod. Go. Oh no, 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 no. I got away fast enough. Major. Oh no, he's right behind me. He stopped. Oh, are we friends? Oh, thank goodness. Instead of exploding me into smithereens, we've decided to shake on it. Oops, my bad. 
faked me out. He's faking me out. Run. He faked me out. And he survived. I only got two and a half hearts left. Please. Come on. Let's not do it this way. I'll fight you back. I'm going to do it. Oh, no. I didn't do it. The husk could be way cooler. So we're going to revamp it. I'll start by giving the husk more of a burnt skin. And now that we have this burnt husk corpse, we need to warp it in bandages. Wrap it up. Now this is starting to look like a real authentic mummy. And that red eye would make me really not want to see a bunch of these guys roaming around the desert. I also went ahead and added some loose bandages hanging off of its arms. And there you have it. The better mummified husk. Let's give this husk his very own sand village. The ultra mummified husk. Hey, get out of my way, you camel. Move. I need to admire my creation. We've also had him harness the ability of sand after thousands of years buried in some sort of tomb. Oh, okay. I guess he's very angry. I guess I would be quite grumpy too if I was buried in a tomb for a thousand years. Oh, he just converted the villager and he spun up some sort of sandstorm. Look, it's traveling. It's spinning this direction. The sandstorm is on the move. His sandstorm is an ultra secret power, but he's got the ability to do it because I've given him a secret weapon. Give it back. Let me have your staff. Now I have the husk staff. Let's put this sand staff to great use. Hello. Bam. Sandstorm of... It didn't do nearly as much damage as it did when the husk used it. Ah, he's getting up. Wait for me. Almost got him. Turn him. Bam. Ah. Oh, he made his escape. The true test. Can our super husk survive his own sandstorm? Take three sandstorms. He's invincible. He's invincible! Now, this snow golem is a little too cute for my taste, so we're gonna make him a bit spooky. A menacing golem won't be scary at that height, so let's make him quite a bit taller. I'm gonna change the texture of this snow to look colder, replace the buttons it had before with new updated buttons, stretch out that head a bit to be a new pumpkin. I'll make this big orange cube that will eventually become his head, then paint on a giant grin and some giant creepy eyes too. The stem needs to be a gross greenish color also, and to finish it off, I gave it bendy stick arms. Now this guy looks chilly. Let's get him next to a nice breezy ocean so he can stay chilly even if he's on some sand. Trust me, the cool air will come in and keep you comfortable. Oh, come on. Don't give me that face. Oh my word! Okay, forget what I said. I didn't mean to mock you, buddy. He's trapped me in a pumpkin head. Oh my goodness. Take your carved pumpkin back. He's completely annihilated my diamond helmet, too. I'm must get payback. Oh, that did not work well at all. He's going in a circle all around the Vindicators, throwing snowballs, freezing all of them. I told you the cool breeze was coming and everybody's frozen. These are snowballs that you do not want to run into in a snow fight. These snowballs hurt. Hopefully you can survive. Oh no, he got me again. The glow squid is just a boring, boxy sea creature. So I'm going to make it a ton better. I'll start by duplicating its head and stacking it on top of itself to make it much much, much, much longer. Shave off the edges to shape it a little bit. It still needs to be a glow squid, though, so I worked the same color scheme into it. I also like the idea of giving these glowing spines along its back. These eyes on the side of his head are goofy looking, but they'll work perfectly. And these really long tentacles will really make the whole thing come together. And now that is a new and improved glow squid. All right, I've locked off a beautiful pond for our glow squid to hang out in, and he's very stiff. I tried to give you enough space to move around, but you're quite a bit larger in person than I anticipated in the model. Don't look at me like that. Look, I said I'm sorry. He's trying to escape. Trust me, your current location is the best location for you. There's no other water anywhere nearby. Oh, he's very, very angry. He just called down lightning from the sky. Oh, and he zapped the water and all the fish that were inside. We got salmon and we got cod. Oh, and our squid has died. Ooh, but there he is. He became tiny squid. We have the glow squid in our hands. I have obtained the power of the liquid squid and I saw what it could do. Were you witness? I must handle the witnesses carefully. Oh my goodness. Flam. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Hey buddy. Boom. Oh, another horse. Hello there. Bam. 
Oh, yikes. We only have regular bees in Minecraft. What we need is a queen bee to rule them all. I'll use some bee bodies to make a bigger bee shape. Can't forget to give it some stripes. The bee is going to need some super large eyes too. I also added these legs, even though you can really barely see them. What's a queen bee without a crown, right? A giant stinger to defend all the loyal bees. And to finish it off, some giant wings to lift up that big heavy bee. I believe this is ready to go. Get it? Bee? Leave? Believe? Yeah. Give this beautiful bee its very own bee home where there is no hive currently, but I'll leave that up to you since you are the queen bee. Everybody knows the queen bee needs to protect her territory, her hive, her honey munchin. And for the sake of science, I must show you exactly what that looks like. The queen is collecting resources for the hive. And now the queen is coming after me, which means I very quickly should probably run away because the queen bee is getting very, very, very close to me. Okay, stop. Ouch! Oh my goodness, the baby bees are here. Every, an entire bee colony. Oh, they're going fast. Oh my goodness, I'm almost knocked. No, clear the poison, clear the poison. Thank you, squid, for the rock hard. Nope, back at me. Okay, I'm fighting back, that's it, that's it. Oh no! I know where you live. In fact, I created you. And you all have been annihilated. And I have obtained your wings. Look at my beautiful, beautiful bee wings. I can... F I can run and flap like a queen bee. I am the queen bee. Beautiful aerodynamic wings give me power to jump as well. Ooh. I'm not as graceful as the queen, but I can be reckless. The Enderman is already cool, but I think I can make some additions to make it even cooler. I'll start by changing the color to be a little bit more purple than black. Then I'll give it a lighter rib cage. Also these pink eyes instead of the standard Enderman white eyes. Now to really add something new, these large pink crystal growths. And these crystals are super powerful, sending energy flowing through the Enderman veins. A little more pink and purple, a little bit here, a little bit there. And now the energy infested enderman is looking good the energy flowing around this enderman in game looks immaculate sizing is strong i come up to about waist height typical and endermen truly have to be extremely extremely spooky these are guys that you would not want to look in the eye and anytime you do you'll find yourself <laughs> instantly blinded and the enderman spawns right behind you oh he's staring at me watch Oh, that's spooky. Just one more look. Why don't I? Look. Oh, no. That, that made him angry. I could survive. Maybe. Maybe I could survive. I can't survive. I personally really like the ghast as a mob, but I think we can make it more interesting. I'm going to need to make this ghast a blank canvas first. Ghasts are known for always having their eyes shut, but I think having giant open eyes is going to make it better. These tentacles will also be better by being way longer than duplicate them over all the others. It's looking a little goofy right now, but trust me, we'll fix it. Yep. This ghast is absolutely better. Oh, this ghast is angry right away. I'm barely gonna make it if I make it at all. Oh my goodness, look at his eyes. He's chasing me down. This ghast is coming with the quickness. He's almost got to me. No, no, come on. No, no. Have no fear. I'll face him a second time. Look, oh, instantaneously. He's firing the fireballs and he's gonna try and suck me up again. Don't suck me up. No, not the tentacles. Oh. No fear, no fear, no fear. I'll face him a third time. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Run, run, run. I've dodged him. I can see you. Yes. Ah! Hide around the corner. I'm going for the loop-de-loop. -loop. I got the loop-de-loop. -loop. Dodge, not dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge, dodge. Ah! I gotta get closer. See if I can pull off a hit. Oh, he's coming for the suck again. He's coming for the suck. Not the suck. All right, you win. Now, bosses need to be made better too. So let's fix up the wither. I'll start by making the head much more skull-like. And I'll also give it this open jaw. Skull faces for the other heads too. These ribs need to be built out a little bit more as well. I think black smoke all around it will make it super, super awesome. Oh yeah, this is looking awesome. This better wither is complete. Let's see what it looks like in game. The nether did not serve me well. Our wither has joined the world. This boss is looking magnificent. 
magnificent. Three heads better than ever. Look at the size of this demon. I'm going to get close. Just, oh, right away. He's off to destruction. That sheep. Oh, yikes. Another sheep. Yikes. Oh, the chicken. Sayonara. No mercy for anybody. This wither has chased everything with any life all the way to the hilltops. Try me, buddy. He's angry. He's very clearly very, very, very angry. Dodge. Dodge. Careful. Make space. Make space. Dodge. Jumping. Slash. Bam. 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 Oh, yep. Yeah. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. I almost got him. We almost got him. We got him. And we got his mask. Our reward for a battle well fought. For science. Oh. 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 Look at that face. Oh, no. No. I shouldn't have put it on.